guys i hope you are doing well so today our topic will be very important for all of you and this is the dvms lexar on relational algebra lexar number one okay as you already i think know that relation al relational algebra is very important for all perspective either it is competitive examination point of view or your semester or examination point of view because this is a kind of mathematical and you will find different numerical problems based on new relational algebra okay guys and if you have not already gone through the previous lectures then i'm giving the link below you can go through it so let's start today's class so relational algebra and this is the lecture number one so i'm going to define some important basic terminologies that you need to know before starting the main algebra portion okay so first one is relation so what do we mean by relation relation means what table okay you know we have dbms and we have rdbms dbms stands for database management system and rdbms stands for relational database management system because in rdbms our main focus is on relation and relation is nothing but our table okay so relation is represented in terms of table this point is clear to you so this is clear then when we talk about the table what we mean we mean a cross section of rows and columns rows those horizontal and columns are vertical you look at this diagram you see this is a say table these are our rows these are horizontal in nature so these are rows and these are columns columns are also known as attribute do you remember it columns are known as attribute and attribute we mean properties okay now if attribute is for column what is the technical term for rows the term is tuple t u p l e okay so don't confuse tuple is our rows so these horizontal values are our tuples this vertical values are our attribute clear now second point is see i am forming these important topics in terms of points so that you can easily note them uh, yeah of course you have to note them because this will help you to solve those previous those problems numerical problems on this relational algebra and uh, mcqs that are frequently appearing in your semester exam and in your competitive examinations okay so attribute values should be indivisible in nature and by the term indivisible means what you cannot divide it that is unique so for that we have another technical term that is atomic you know in one of my previous lecture if you have already subscribed this channel then of course you have been notified about that lecture that i have framed on acid okay so the acid properties that dbms has to satisfy uh, they are the first a stands for what atomicity and atomicity is based on atomic and that atomic means no duplicacy that is unique okay so attribute values to be indivisible or atomic in nature and i'm not going to again elaborate this topic because this is already explained go to the link in the description box and you will go to it and also don't forget to subscribe this channel then only you will be notified about the upcoming lectures okay so that is clear to you attribute values to be indivisible or atomic now next is the technical term schema so what is schema schema is the overall structure or i can say skeleton of your database you know by the term skeleton means the earth, the overall structure say i am representing skeleton or this schema by the capital r do you remember it whenever i am using capital letter r this means schema and that schema can be defined as r is equal to 
a1 comma a2 comma up to an and what are that a1 a2 an they are our attributes got it so that is our schema the overall structure so relation belongs to a particular schema okay relation we used to represent relation with the help of small letter r okay and that relation belongs to our capital letter r that means schema got it now how we define relation in terms of d1 d2 those different domains relation r can be defined as a subset of d1 cross d2 cross up to dn what are d1 cross d2 cross dn they are nothing but our cross product okay so a relation is a set of n tuples okay small a1 small a2 up to a n where a i means a1 or a2 up to a n they are belonging to d i so this d1 cross d2 cross dn i am giving one example say say d1 is just to uh, explain the cross product okay that is cartesian product uh, say 1 2 and d2 is say a b c then d1 cross d2 will be what every possible combination of d1's element with d2 element then <coughs> sorry how we combine them how we associate them see look at the diagram this one will be associated to this a, a this one will be associated to this b thus this one will be associated to this c so accordingly we can write it as 1 a 1 b comma 1 c clear similarly for the other elements is 2 way 2 b 2 c 2 a 2 b 2 c got it so that is our d1 cross d2 how many elements we got in d1 cross d2 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 how can you count that See, in the first D1, how many elements we have? 2. In D2, how many elements we have? 3. So, D1 cross D2 will have 6 elements. So, our relation will be represented as D1 cross D2 cross Dn's subset. Okay. This is a subset. Or I can say that if there are n tuples, then D, T1 will be belonging to D1, T2 belonging to D2, TTN belonging to DN. So you have already got to know that what is tuple? Tuple is nothing but our rows. So rows means this records values. So when we combine them, ultimately what we get? Ultimately we get the whole table. So relation can be expressed in terms of these tuples. Clear to you? Okay, good. Then next time. <coughs> current value of a relation is table do remember that here i am speaking about a technical term that is instance and what does this technical term instance means instance with current value okay so <coughs> sorry so relations you got to know what is relation now when i have considered a value of a relation a value of the table at any moment any moments mean with respect to time say 3 p.m. size 3 30 p.m. accordingly that value will be our what table got it don't confuse it although we used to say as yes, relation is table relation is table. yeah of course that is true but more accurate definition is what current instance of a relation is our table when someone asks you define table you need to define like that then that interviewer will be impressed with your uh, means uh, definition got it that's the point so this point is clear then next this point an element of r is a tuple of course you got it because i have formed the table i have formed the relation in terms of tuples so any element you have picked up that is nothing but our tuple this point is clear 
Okay, guys, don't hesitate to ask me any question regarding my lectures, means uh, my uh, topics that I am discussing. Okay, you just comment the uh, doubt and I'll go through it. Okay, don't worry about it. Next. So, this point is clear. Then, order of tuples are irrelevant. So, what does it mean? And this pin means you can put star mark here because this is very important. Okay, so I am giving an example on it. Do note it because this is very important. So, order of tuples are irrelevant means to say that the order of the tuples doesn't matter how you are organizing it. I am considering the student table say. Student table I have already given example in many more other lectures, previous lectures. So, considering the same table. ID, name, say this is your stream. This is a relation, this is a table. So, to say it's one, two, three, this is say our John, this is say Rosie, this is say Alexia. Then stream is say for John Commerce, I'm writing C O M. So Rosie say IT. For a lecture, say it's maths. I have written like that. So these are tuples. This is one tuple, this is two tuple, means first tuple, second tuple, third tuple. So if I write, say, like this one is clear. So if I write like two, three, one, and two we have what? Rosie, say IT, three, what we have? Alexa. We have match, one we have zone, commerce. So now I have written the student in this order. Does any matter here? Of course no, because what we want is information. You, if you want sorting of the data, you can easily sort it with simple uh, sorting definition like ascending and des uh, descending that will I will discuss in some later classes ASC ascending and DESC these things I will discuss but that I can do at the time uh, suppose I want to view the data but whenever these tuples are here in this relation does they matter no what matter is the information accurate information okay the orders are not relevant actually okay so orders of the tuples are not relevant they are not going to affect in any way with our relation got it so that's why i have written here orders of tuples are irrelevant sometimes you make you might got mcq like that whether orders of tuples are relevant or irrelevant so you need to write it or you need to mark the irrelevant clear so good coming to the next point then of course, next point says us that database consists of multiple relations. Database, you know, if we are forming any database, what it will consist? If I am creating a database, obviously it is going to consist a lot of tables. If lot of tables, lot of tables means what? Tables are instance of relations. So ultimately, that database is going to include a lot of relations maybe two relations three relations doesn't matter a lot of relations will be there so that's why i'm writing here that database consists of multiple relations this point clear very good so these are the basic things that you need to know before starting the relational algebra okay guys so i know that all of you know the term algebra because of course if you are at this position you have already crossed your 9 exam, 10th exam, your higher secondary level and there you have found mathematics, you have gone through mathematics and in mathematics algebra matters a lot. So can you define algebra? Yeah, you can define it. Algebra is what? When we do some operation, operation means what? Summation, subtraction, multiplication, division, these are the operation you do, you do with some values those are operands okay suppose 2 plus 3 
2 plus 3 is what? 7. No, 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay. Just kidding. Don't worry. I know that you know this basic summation. There are this uh, subsection, cross and division operation. So, there's, these are the facts you already know. So, these things we are going to do in our relational algebra in terms of their own operators and their own operands. Do remember that relational algebra is very important because today we are dealing with SQL. You know that uh, how to create the table or how to uh, manipulate the data we have. But those things exist because only because the mathematical portion exists. Actually, SQL doesn't come itself if it is not there in relational algebra. So we'll go through inside of those operations by learning the different operations performed in the relational algebra. Then only you can say yourself as a database expert. Mere knowing the SQL commands doesn't mean that you know it. Got it? So do sincere to these classes. Okay. So algebra is based on some operators. Okay. Those operators, lexer by lexer, I'll include all of them. Now, the second point is, <clears throat> the next point is languages. You know language, we have different type of languages. We divide it into two types. The language in terms of database, okay? Don't confuse it. So, first one is procedural language and second one is non-procedural language. Procedural language, by the time it means what? It is going to consist of different procedures and in procedures area we can perform a procedure when some operators are involved isn't it so of course relational algebra is a kind of procedural language i'm repeating again relational algebra is a kind of procedural language why i'm repeating this is very important guys it will be asked in different competitive examinations so you can note it down then what about the non-procedural? Non-procedural, just opposite case of procedural. They are not, we are not going to deal with those procedures. So example of non-procedural language is relational calculus or declarative. Clear? So guys, <coughs> sorry. These are the facts that I have discussed in this today's class. So uh, I hope this is clear to you. And still, if I... Uh, miss out some points here then do comment it and still if you have some doubts on it some topics then do comment it okay so guys i hope you have enjoyed this class and if you really enjoy this class don't forget to push that like button okay just remember it okay so we'll meet in the next lecture till then take care bye bye